real. All right. So those are the shit that I made in the fucked up, you know. Be in the car, so not that many people can get in the an artist's car and be able to do the interview like this here. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna go and start asking questions so we can break it down, find out a lot of things of what's going on right now with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we're gonna start off with why have you left Chevy's and what's the deal on that? Well, it was a growing process. You know, so we started off when I had my own company. Right. So it was just a growing process and maturing with my career. All right. So those are the stuff that I made and put it down, you know. Uh, we still tight. You know, All right. Nice. Another question. Uh, it was some rumors saying that you were Rex Shop, that you had already signed. I mean, even all on the internet, they saying that you had already signed with them. What's the deal on that? Well, we was doing the joint venture between their company and my company. Long time and Rex Shop. And that's how that was. It wasn't that I was just a Rex Shop boy. Oh, really? And what side of the south side are you from? Everyone in Yellowstone. Already. What uh, football position you play? What school you went to? Uh, I started out, I played <laughs> running back. I went to Yates. Yeah. I played running back. From, uh, I moved uh, off of the line. I was playing guard, right in little guard. Uh-huh. And I played little nose guard, too. Already. So you was a killer on the field? Yeah, that was my thing. What stopped you from uh, playing? Or what was the rapper season just so well, cold? Just, uh, I had left school for a year. And I had to sit out for a year. And uh, while I was out, just here, it was just had jumped out. Right. And, uh, I got into it and I uh, did my album or whatever, what have you. Everything just been going through it since. What was happening between the translation from you? I know because, I mean, uh, the June 27th, when you wrecked on that, what was the transition that took so long from you getting from the hottest tape to getting your album done, the hardest tape in the living? Well, we, at the time we did the tape, I was still in uh, school playing ball. Oh, okay. So I wasn't even thinking about putting out no tape. I thought I was going to get my tape from football. For sure. Yeah. Okay, now how long you been rapping? What's the whole, you know, uh, you know we got to ask some questions. Yeah, since, uh, man, uh, I'm going to say about, about eight years now, man. This, Back when we were young, you know, we used to be on the block and at school, yeah. and freestyling and just playing around. All right. But then uh, once I got in the uh, school high, we were doing a little old thing and we got to do it on the tape, but we always was doing it for the fun of it. All right. And I was never doing it for this shit, but then it just blew up. Right. Same the thing. Three deals. I mean, main deals that we know of, DJ Screw, Fat Pad, and Mafio. I mean, I know they was all close to you. I mean, can you go through all three and just tell me what you were feeling at the time or, you know what I'm saying, when you found out on each one? Uh, well, like, when I found out about uh, school, I was at home in the bed and I had to get up that morning because I had a show in Dallas. Right. And, uh, I found out about that in the bed. Uh, Uh, I just 
really been all over, but right. it's kind of, you know, these uh, southern regions, all over southern regions. All right. A couple of spots uh, uh, down south from midway up. All right. But I ain't just went all the way up north yet. Who, who you looking to do a big ass uh, uh, collaboration with, son? Uh, almost like your not your dream rapper, but I mean, who who you looking to do, you know, a big ass feature with? Well, I, I, uh, I just did this local thing for a minute, man. I just pretty much control that. Yeah. And did my thing. Uh, I'm looking enough to you know, probably pop in some of these uh, cats up the east and right. on the west. You know, uh, big time cats, you know. So. All right. Okay, and I know all the ladies want to know is you married, you single, you know, you know what I'm saying, what's the deal, are you? What, what's going on with this deal? Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm single right now, I'm pretty much married to my career. Right. You got to try to focus on that. You know they say romance is not finance, it's a new thing. <laughs> the man song. The Big Mo and EZ, what's the deal on that and how did it, how did y'all get together on that and make that go down? Man, this song, that actually, it was a trip to the, <laughs> well, I was, I, I was sitting there watching No D make the beat. Yeah. So when the beat came up, I was like, damn, I want this beat, man. Yeah. So I wanted it for myself, but they had already had uh, plans to use it. Right. So uh, I was like, okay, I'm cool. So, but then, uh, Rick and the man knew I didn't want to be on it. So like, I came back up there like two days later. Yeah. And they was like, man, go in the booth, man. So I used something in the booth and put the beat on it and told me to freestyle, man. I went there and <laughs> freestyle on the one take and that was it. Already. Uh, what other kind of music you listen to besides rap? Uh, I like, I like slow music sometimes. Yeah. You know, I, I like rap music. You know, I can't hear that all the time. Yeah. I like, I like slow music and old school music. Yeah. Already. You know. And where was you born at? Houston, Texas. Already. For war. Yeah. Already. Anybody else in your family rapping besides you or? Uh, no. Yeah. Skirt.